carbonate. We shall also use calcium carbonate. And what is the odd man out now? It is calcium oxide. That we shall not use because they have not talked about it. They have not even given any quantity as per the one mole of calcium oxide formed. So, for carbon dioxide, we shall deal with the volume. And then for calcium carbonate, we shall deal with the mass. So, if we are dealing with the mass of calcium carbonate, this is a compound which has got very many elements, as we can see. Earlier on, we dealt with carbon, which, is just, which was just an element, and we found out the mass of that, the mass of one mole of, cal of, of carbon is 12 grams. But this time, it is a whole compound with more than one element. So, we are also going to convert this one here to mass, in this case, since we have been given the mass of calcium carbonate. So, let us say... The molar mass, that's the mass of one mole, the molar mass of calcium carbonate is equal to, then we add the relative atomic masses as we have done already. So we are applying the calculation of relative formula mass. In this case, we shall add the, the relative atomic masses of this number of atoms of each element. We add them together to get the mass of one with the value of the relative formula mass and with the unit of grams, which is the mass of one mole. So it is 40 plus 12 plus 16 times 3. So this one gives us 48 plus 12 is 60 plus 40 is 100. So the mass of one mole of calcium carbonate is 100 grams. And then if this is 100 grams, let us now go ahead and we make our calculation. We have only one mole of carbon dioxide and one mole of a gas at room temperature has got this volume, 24,000 cubic centimeters. If there were two moles, then we will multiply this one here by two. Remember, if this one was five moles of carbon dioxide, likewise we would multiply the, the volume of one mole by five, since there are five moles. So we have only one mole of carbon dioxide gas produced, so we shall only have the, the volume of one mole here. And what shall be on our left hand side is calcium carbonate because we have its mass given. What we are calculating is the volume of carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide go to the right hand side for our simple cross multiplication. So let us now work from first principle. That is a set of, a set of sentences that we are going to use in our calculation and we can make someone understand as the person reads through. So in this case, we have one mole of calcium carbonate and we shall make calcium carbonate be on the left hand side. And one mole of calcium carbonate has a mass of 100 grams. So we shall say 100 grams of calcium carbonate decomposes to produce, we are starting with the equation, one mole of calcium carbonate, 100 grams, decomposes to produce one mole of carbon dioxide, whose volume is 24 thousand cubic centimeters of carbon dioxide aha uh -huh. now what of the mass given that is the 20 grams of calcium carbonate it decomposed see the tense well that here you we should calculate the volume of carbon dioxide produced at room temperature when 20 grams of calcium carbonate decomposed completely. So the 20 grams of calcium carbonate decomposed to produce. Then we cross multiply this by that, divide by this, as we had seen before. So it will be 24,000 times 20 over 100. So this one goes with this. This one goes with one zero. We remain with the 48 zero zero. Because this zero and that zero goes, this one goes with that zero. We remain with the 4,800. And the unit remains cubic centimeters. So this one is in cubic centimeters. And our unit is also cubic centimeters. So in this session, we have seen how to calculate the volume of carbon dioxide gas produced or the volume of a gas produced the volume of a gas produced as a result of the reaction of a reaction so in our next session we are also going to see how to calculate the mass of a substance that burns or oh, that that reacts to produce some volume of the gas so thank you for watching this is step talks education